Hi guys, Dave here and Ghost. We're doing a segment of uh, wild edibles. And today what we have for you are wild pears. Now, honestly, I don't know if this was once a domesticated tree that has grown wild or a seed was transferred from a domesticated tree. Um, to be honest, in Ontario, don't really find a lot of wild pear trees around. Um, so this is mid-August and they're not quite ripe yet. Probably need another couple of weeks or a month. But uh, I figured, hey, why not? Whether it's uh, a domesticated tree that went wild or otherwise, or if it's, you know, completely wild. So, everybody's pretty much familiar with what a pear looks like. The uh, tree itself and the leaves are very similar to an apple tree. They, they do look quite similar. The wheat leaves are a little less waxy. The... Uh, branches are generally a little thicker, a little more robust, slightly different color, and leaves are more droopy than an apple tree. So if you see it from a distance off and you can tell that the leaves are drooping, you know it's a pear tree as opposed to an apple tree, but hey, either way it's food, right? So I'm not going to eat any more off of this because they're just not ripe yet. Uh, they come in shortly after apples do. So. Uh, yeah, if you happen to have any wild pear trees in your area, um, growing out here the, the way they are once they're ripe, they are delicious. So like and share, subscribe, and uh, be sure to comment. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.